Before we begin our event, we would like to invite you to stand up all together for our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now opening this ceremony with the welcome opening remarks by Mrs. Catherine Scanning Longwell. So please welcome. Aaron Thursday. Song Sakum. Akun dal ban mark, kam bite bork, kabro koet nie piasa ankle. King yom dung chiba, puat nia nie piasa ankle, do jiang, king yom nia piasa kamer. So now I will continue in English. <laughs> Thank you to Springboard and Colin and Pade for asking me to open this session. And thank you to the students and teachers who will compete. We are all delighted to have you here to participate in the Springboard English Speaking Championship for 2015. As Cambodians look towards the future within the ASEAN community, its potential to compete needs to focus not only on the growth of traditional industries, but expansion into new areas. 
To achieve this, the Cambodian workforce needs to improve their analytical skills, their critical thinking, and their willingness to reach beyond their comfort zone to challenge themselves. For many years, Springboard has been helping to promote British education to Cambodian students in order to teach exactly these skills. Education needs to become more than simply learning facts by rote. This public speaking and debate championship is an opportunity to stretch ourselves, to reach forward, and to take what for many of you will be the first steps in the success of your future career. I had the pleasure of meeting last year's winners when I first arrived in Cambodia at the beginning of this year. I was impressed with both their ability to speak English and with their individual poise. I am confident that they will each succeed in those chosen fields. But the ability to speak publicly and confidently is about more than winning a contest. By simply participating, you are opening yourselves to strive and to achieve. You are here today ready to begin, and I am confident that I will continue to be impressed with your efforts, whether it be for the Junior Championship, Senior Championship, or Young Teacher of English Championship. Today's session will focus on the details of the competition, the rules, how it works, and how the contestants will be judged. As you face this, and face any new challenge, I want to remind you of how badly I speak Khmer. Always remember that when you make a sincere and committed effort, as I have done with my speaking of Khmer, the reward is twofold. First, to yourself and your own improvement, but also to others for having reached out. Prepare yourself to be challenged, excited, and inspired. Thank you. Okun. Thank you, Mrs. Catherine Scanning Longas, for your meaningful and inspiring speech. According to what Mrs. Catherine Scanning Longas has mentioned, this competition is not only improve their critical thinking and analysis, but it is also give them a great enjoyment course. The prize for the winner are very amazing. As we have known, the first winner of public speaking will get a chance to win trip to UK, and the second winner will win a trip to Indonesia. Furthermore, for the winner of debate competition, they will have a chance to join as a debate in Indonesia. So, my good luck today. ແລະໂດຍການລົງໄປບ້ານລຶກລ້ານຈັ່ງຈົກຜູ້ການປະກວດນີ້ມັນຕ້ອງຕາຊ່ວຍເພິ່ງເລື່ອງມັດເພດ
Aminat. I, I will present about the Cambridge English preliminary English test. So you might be aware about Cambridge English already because this is one of the criteria that will be set you through to the first round. If you pass, you go through. If you fail, you go through next year and register again. <laughs> with the slide presentation. So what is what is a preliminary English test? So PET is intermediate level. So if you heard about PET is intermediate level. In Cambridge English, they don't give the, the exam that give you the score that measure your level. So if you're confident that you can do the exam in elementary level, you go for PET. You don't go for PET. Or you don't go for SCE or CAE. So if you are, you think yourself, is I'm in an elementary level, so I want to go to the next step, you do PET, key English test, not this one. But with your ability to go to the competition, come to the competition and compete with other, you need at least PET. So PET is intermediate level. It's compared to IL, it's about 5.0 or 5.5. So it's not easy, but it's not hard as well. Some, I think most of you or all of you will pass the exam. But who knows, because every year we have some candidates for the exam. Not much, about 10%. So, if we experience from last year, 10% of you will be fed. This might be the same. So in PET exam, Cambridge English preliminary English test, so there are four components. It's the same, there are four components. So, it is reading, book all about the book. Writing, all about reading paper and pencil. We, we use pencil for this exam. Listening is all it's all about listening to the, the tape, to the audio. Speaking. So you speak with examiner, the speaking examiner. And with this I, I will expand you one by one letter and with the speaking style of the exam is different from other as well. So if you familiar with other exam this might be different from here, but, but the models, uh, what is uh, in the question, this might be similar. It's depend on your experience with the other exam. But actually, it's the British exam. So in reading, there are 35 questions. You have to answer all the questions, 35 questions. If you miss one, you won't have the mark. So better, if you cannot finish it on time, just guess it. Guess it and take it all. You might get a chance, like 10 percent, to get the correct answer. So don't leave it blank. You have to make it. Writing. So writing, there are three parts. First part, filling in the gap with the paragraph. Second part, write a short email with 35 to 45 words. So you have to write 35 or 45 words. Not less than 35, not more than 45 words. You can do it less, or you can write it more, up to you. But the examiner will look between 35 to 45 words. If you write more than 45 words, your chance to have a high score will be less. You know why? You know why? Because the more you write, the more you make the mistake. So if you do 45 words, exactly is correct. If you do more, you might make some more mistake. So the examiner will look to your mistake and down your score. So the third part, write a letter with 100 words. It's the same. So you have to cover 100 words. Not more than that or less than that. You can count the words, what you write. You, you, 
spare like one minute at the end and count the bird. Exactly like 100 bird or 101 or 100 or 99. So, yes. So it's all about invitation letter. I, I mean, the, the topic can be like an invitation letter, describing letter, saying letter, or story, or complaining letter, or persuading letter. So any type of letter, not the Facebook letter. Not the Facebook communication. But Facebook might be uh, the way you write on uh, to communicate with each other might be in this topic as well. But all related to write a letter to someone. Write a letter to someone. Dear ABCs and blah 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 and your name. This is write a letter to someone. In the listening part, go on. So in the, in the listening part, they will place each person twice. Remember, they will play each person twice, not one. Other exam might be one. But this exam, they will place the, the question twice, or they speak twice. So, if they speak something about history or about football, and then they will repeat it again. So, if it's play one, you might take the correct answer, but you can review the correct answer again when they speak the next, the repeat one. So if you cannot catch the answer of the first, the first uh, speaking, and then you can catch again on the, on the next repeat. So each person, they will speak twice, they will play twice. There are 25 questions in listening part. Six minutes at the end of the time to transfer the answer to the answer seat. So there are six minutes at the end when the audio player not playing, but it's it's working. So they give you six minutes at the end to transfer your answer from the answer booklet to the answer seat because there are two things that. Uh, we'll give to you an example listening part. The, uh, the answer, the question booklet, and the answer sheet. So the examiner will look at the answer sheet, not the exam booklet. But you use the exam booklet to check the correct answer, to find the correct answer. And then you have six minutes at the end to transfer from the exam book, from the question booklet, to the answer set. If you forget to transfer your answer from the exam book, not the question booklet, to the answer set, it will mean you did not do anything with the listening test. Even you take all the correct answer in the question booklet, the examiner won't look at the question booklet. The question booklet will be destroyed. They won't look at your answer on the question booklet. So they look at only the answer booklet. So you must remember about this. Speaking. There are four parts in the speaking test for pet. So first part, introduction. This might be hello. How are you? What's your name? Where are you from? Where's your home? Something like that. Talk about something together with our partner. So in the speaking exam for preliminary English test for Cam or Cambridge English, you will have partner. And in the room, in the speaking room, there are two speaking examiners. One examiner will interact with you. Another examiner is an assessor. They won't interact with you, they won't ask you any question, but they will access what you speak. They will give you the score. So two speaking examiners in the room. 
and you have partner. Remember you have partner. You're not going alone in the room. There are two candidates in the room and two speaking examiners in the room. One examiner will interact with you, ask you questions, and go on a dialogue with you. And you have partner to make a conversation with as well. So the second one talking about something together with your partner. This is what you're going to do and then the examiner will listen to you what are you talking about and they give you the talk the talking. You will need to describe a photograph given by examiner. They give you the photos like photo about history or photo about sport. So you will talk about this type of thing. Sharing your option with partner about something. So this is all the four parts in the speaking exam. With your partner, so you have to cooperate with each other. If you do more cooperate, you will get a high score. If you try to win over your partner, this might be, you might got less score. So make sure you cooperate with your partner. Make sure the conversation is going well. Make sure the speaking is going well. Not to make agreement with, with each other. Not try to win over each other. So cooperate with each other. This is what the examiner is looking for. So small about the speaking, you will have 10 to 12 minutes in the speaking exam of the preliminary English test. And two examiners, as I talked earlier, one examiner will talk to you, and another one listen to you. So one examiner will be interact with you, and one examiner will be the assessor. Back, back. Both of them will give you the mark. Remember, both of them will give you the mark. So they will they will talk to each other at the end and give you the mark. And then make sure you cooperate with each other. And you know your partner. You can you can practice before going to the room if you know your partner, if you know who, who they are. You can you can talk to them. So this is the end of my presentation for the preliminary English test of the Cambridge English. And if you have any question, we will go on. And if you don't have any question, we go on to the public speaking presentation. And then I will come back again for the debating uh, presentation. So any question about the preliminary English test part of the Cambridge English exam? Question, question. Any question? OK, please. It's like uh, what kind of a level is like intermediate or, for example, like uh, elementary or something. And also uh, the next question is that, uh, so do you have uh, that paper that could give us some, some clues and guidelines for it? Right. Okay, thank you. So, that is intermediate level. With the Cambridge English, there, there are many examples in Cambridge English exam. So they start from young learner, they call YLE. YLE is young learner, young learner exam. So in young learner exam, there are three levels. They call the first, the very first one is called starter. Starter, mover, and prior. So starter, mover, and prior is a very basic level and called young learner exam. So if you are five or six, you start learning English from scratch, from ABC, from, from a very, very beginning. So at the end of each level of your young learner level, and you do the YLE exam. The YLE exam at the end, the YLE flyer will take you through to the KET. KET is Key English Test. Key English Test is the elementary level. The elementary level, 
if you don't be compared to by a 4.0. If you score the pass out elementary level is 4.0 or 4.5. If you, you got a pass with merit, because there are three pass in this exam. Not the YLE. With the YLE, there is no pass and fail. They score only with the star, the seal. So there are four skill, and then if you score higher, I mean the top score, you got five seal or five star in listening. This, this is in YLE. But with the CAT, CAT, FCE, and CAE, there is no, the, 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 each component will give you the score. And an overall score will give you the pass or fail. And with the pass, with the pass rate, and uh, you have three paths. Pass, pass with merit, and pass with distinction. Yeah. If you score at the top, let's say 95 to 100, it's pass with distinction. If you score just a pass, it's a pass. If you score about 80, 75 to 80, it's a pass with merit. So with the preliminary English test, it's actually the real intermediate level. If you are at one, you will pass with distinction, I think. Yes. If you are upper intermediate level, because you know yourself, if you are upper intermediate level, you will pass with merit. If you think you are intermediate, you will just pass. So there are three paths, and demonstrate your level exactly. So with this exam, preliminary English test, PET is B1. It's the pass. If you score higher, it will be B2 or C1. It's, it's up to you in the exam, up to, you, to your performance in the exam. So with this, with a criteria in the championship, you need a certificate that say you are past the exam. Even you get a certificate with lower than a pass, I mean pet, pet level, elementary level, you still got a certificate from Cambridge, from Cambridge English Language Assessment, but you cannot go through. It, it, it did not say you are past. So with a pass, you go through the next the next round. The first, the first round of the competition. If it's not a pass, so you will be out. Enjoy the next, the next year, the 2016. So 10% every year, 10% fail. 10% out of the competition, out of the first round every year. But this year, I think it's might be only 1%. Yes. Okay, any, any more question? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ovega. I have a thank you for your very confident and clear presentation. But I still have one question. My question is, uh, 